In this video, we'll install Linux as a Proxmox VM. The first step is to download Linux. I Googled Linux install, picked my distribution. I'm going with Ubuntu 24.4.2 LTS, and I've already downloaded it. Our next step is to upload the Linux ISO to Proxmox. You go to local PVE, click upload, find your file, click upload. I've already done that here to save a step, so on to the next. Once your ISO file has been uploaded to your local PVE in Proxmox, we're gonna click Create VM. You should see that button up in the top right-hand corner. Create VM, click. A VM ID will automatically be generated. You can create a custom one, but I'm just gonna leave it at default. I'm gonna name it Linux, click Next. I'm gonna select our ISO image here that we uploaded previously. Click Next, and BIOS. I'm gonna select Ufi. All right, this is asking where we want the VM to be stored. So I'm going to select local LVM. See our storage over here, we have plenty. Click next. All right, and disk size here, uh, you can make this anything you want. I am going to make it 200 gigs. Next, CPU. For CPU, I used to find this confusing, sockets and cores. In its simplest term, sockets are how many physical CPUs your server has. Mine has two. So I'm going to select two. I need 10 vCPU for a workload that I'm going to install. So I am going to select five cores across two sockets, which will give us our 10 CPU we need. For memory, I need 16 gigs for a workload I'm going to install. So that would be 16384 in binary. So I'm going to, so I'm going to enter here. Next. I'm going to leave network to the defaults. Here's a overview and click finish. I see a message in the Proxmox log that VM100 was created, and we can see that up here in the UI. Uh, let's start this VM, so I'm gonna click it, right click, start. What we'll see is the VM starts up as our physical resources being used here. Memory and CPU should start to climb, which they are, that's good news. I'd like to console in, so I'm gonna click console, and we're going to install. All right, now we're in the install menu. I'm gonna select my language, select my keyboard layout, I'm going to install Ubuntu server. Okay, there is the IP of the Linux uh, management interface that we're going to want to save because we're going to need that in a bit. I'm going to write it down. Anytime I see done down the bottom here in green, I just hit enter to get to the next step. All right, I am going to use this entire disk, but I do not want to set up an LVM group. Done. We can see the entire disk is allocated to this VM. Enter. This is just telling us it's gonna wipe out the disk. Yes, enter some information here like username and passwords. Skip. I do wanna install SSH server. Scroll down to done, enter. I am not going to install any of these snaps or these packages that come with this version of Linux. I am going to show you how to install Docker once Linux is up and running, but we're not gonna install anything on this screen. Done. All right, installing. Once the Linux installation is complete, we will reboot. I get these failures each time I install Linux. I don't know why, but if you hit enter, they go away. Getting a bunch of output on the console, this is good. I got some SSH key creation messages. So at this point, I'm going to console into my Linux server in a terminal window. The username I set up is lab, oh, SSH and then the IP. This may be different on your instance of Linux, so just make sure that you use the IP that was set up in the uh, configuration earlier. Accept, yes. I know the password that you set up for this Linux VM. We're in, happy day. There are a few tools that I wanna to make sure are present in this Linux environment for a future workload that I'm going to install. Git, so I can pull down repos, make, Gonna be some cool stuff that happens later with make and Docker for containers. I run a couple of commands here to make sure that everything is set up. I believe git version is how we check. Git is installed, that's good. Uh, make, I believe it's make dash dash version. Make is not installed. I'm gonna do a sudo to install make. We run on sudo apt install dash y make. Enter the sudo password. Let's check make dash dash version. Now we have make. 
Perfect. The last thing I want to check for is Docker. If we're on the Docker PS, that will tell us Docker is not found. Let's go install Docker. I went to Google and I searched Docker install. It took me to the docs.docker.com site that I have off just to the side here. You want to select your distribution. We're running Ubuntu, so I'm going to click that. Before we install Docker, we have to install the apt repository. So just off to the screen, I am copy and pasting a bunch of code, putting it in here. Next step is to install the latest Docker version. Again, just off to the side here on docs.docker.com, I'm copying and pasting the commands. Do you want to use disk space? Yes, I do. Docker has been installed. To validate the install, we're going to run the hello world image. Again, another copy and paste. You can see the banner here, hello from Docker. This message shows your installation is working correctly. Happy day. That's good. The command I just ran, docker ps, is a way to validate that we can run Docker commands without pseudo permissions. We get a permission denied error, so we're gonna fix that here. First, we're gonna create a Docker group. Then we're gonna add our user to that group. It says the group already exists, which is fine. Copy pasta, and where user is, we're going to add lab which is our username. Now I'm gonna log out and back in and check Docker PS one more time to make sure that the uh, group permissions have been added. I logged out and backed in to the VM. Now we're gonna run the same command Docker PS to ensure the group membership is now working and we won't get hit with pseudo permissions every time we run Docker. We're in, fantastic. And there you have it. That's the process to install Linux in a Proxmox VM and ensure that Git, Make, and Docker are installed working properly and the group permission stuff in Docker is all fixed. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.